So what does this mission and purpose in building this cultural center in doing this for your community, for your tribe, literally creating a legacy and a home where this culture can be preserved forever long after you're gone, what does that mean to you personally? Uh, it means everything to me. And uh, <clears throat> in my own personal experience, I feel like this is a path that was being prepared by God. And uh, God prepared me for this from a long time ago. And uh, in so doing, he provided me with the right opportunities, uh, made my paths collide with the right people, with the same vision and the same uh, uh, motivation of doing these things. And uh, this means everything to me. Uh, it reminds me of the day that I quit my job and uh, just did not know what I was going to do, but I had this strong eye that I was not doing the right thing. And ever since then, I've always felt like everything I wanted to do was humanitarian. I've always thought of the people more than I thought of conservation, for instance. I was a safari guide. I thought of the people more than I thought of the animals. And uh, in any conflict that involved people and wildlife or the environment, I always thought of the people first. And um, in this going to happen, if this really happens, and I know it's going to happen, it will be a fulfillment of a dream that I had, that I always dreamed that uh, I wanted a place where the mass I can learn, that the, the women who are not able and lucky enough to go to school can still get a point in life where they can learn any literacies that they want to learn. They can learn any skills that they want to learn. They can learn to be carpenters. They can learn to sew. They can learn anything they want to be. And the opportunities are unlimited to anyone. Even the Maasai boys and girls who were, were not able to go to college. I remember going to college, I had to sell the last few cows that I had because none of my brothers supported me in that. And I paid for my own fees until I was done, got myself a job. And uh, I believe that uh, this has been more of a calling and uh, a way that God has been directing me that this is what to do and he has provided opportunities that sometimes I'm like, how did that happen? And uh, he's always had his own way of making this work and I believe that even if the cultural center is going to take 20 years or 30 years, whether I'll be alive or not, I believe it's going to happen and uh, it's going to fulfill God's own plan for the Maasai people, God's own plan for the people living there even if they are not Maasai. And, uh, us getting that land was not coincidental. Uh, we've had people who lived in that area and they were moved when the land was demarked, they were moved far away from that place. Uh, other families who were well more deserving than ours were, were moved to other areas and uh, we were lucky enough to get the place there in the right place where we needed it. And uh, also I think that uh, having a family which understood what I'm doing and supported it uh, my brothers, my parents both supported what I'm doing and they saw the need even if sometimes I, they're like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm building a cultural center. And they're like, how are you going to benefit from it? And I'm like, it's not about me. It's about what God wants to happen and what the people need in that place. So um, uh, personally, I look back to the four years that we've come. Uh, we started with very little hope in ourselves and uh, very little in our capacity to do stuff that we wanted to do. And uh, looking back and seeing what we've been able to achieve uh, over the four years, uh, the kind of people that God has brought to our paths, both locally in Kenya and uh, even here in the US when we started, it was Heidi, me, probably with the same vision only. And over the years we've had people come in, we've had Jaco, Christine, uh, Anita, David, John, and David, another David. And uh, also in the US, the community ex is expanding, the family is expanding. And even we're having people who are like, what, are, what do you guys do? And every time I'm driving people in the parks and they ask, are you a survivor? I'm like, nope, I'm a humanitarian. What do you mean a humanitarian? Like, I drive people to see wild animals, but I tell them about what I do for my community and what envision uh, to see through in my time alive. So um, the cultural center, if it happened while I'm alive, that would be a big thing. 
But if it happens when I'm not, I'll still die happy and I'll look down from the heavens and support the people who will be doing it in my absence.